Roger Blair is a famed Kentucky woodcarver. His exquisite carvings of native Kentucky birds, fish, and animals have become prized art by collectors all over the U.S. I was watching TV one day and I saw a man in Indiana carving, uh, I think it was a bird, and I thought, well, I might try that. I just graduated from high school and I was helping dad uh, fence, so we'd cut off a little piece of cedar post and I thought, well, I'll try to whittle an owl out of that. So I carved a little owl and I thought, well, that's pretty good. I think I'll make a bigger one. So I got a piece of walnut and took it out in the woodshed and uh, got some old wood chisels and beat the handles off of them and, and <laughs> come up with a, a owl. I thought, man, that is really good. So I thought, well, I'll make something different. So then I thought I'd make a pheasant. So I thought I'd make one with wings and I painted uh, I painted on my bird, and I thought, man, it don't look too good, but it don't look too bad either. So, yeah, I've just been gradually learning as I go, and that was uh, in 74, 1974. I guess it was a fish. Well, people said, man, it's, how much you want for it? And I said, uh, $25. And I thought, well, I don't know why they'd want it. It's n <laughs> but, you know, they're happy to get it for $25. And I thought, man, that's making the money. So I thought, well, I'll make some more and little different things. And uh, that, I think that's about the first piece I sold. And that's what got me started. I've never took a class on whittling or carving. I've got books on um, carving wildlife and how they did it, but everybody has their own style of how they do things. You got to have it in your mind what what your you see the picture in your mind and then you put the picture on the wood and that's what you see and you continue to whittle out everything but the picture that's in your mind and I think that's important you've got to see it I every piece I, I start I already see it finished sometimes it don't look like my picture I, I that's not right. You just keep whittling away until it, it uh, matches what you have in your mind. But a lot of times you make a mistake, cut too much off, and it's better than what you had in your head started. I made an eagle that was flying, and it, was, it caught a fish and was flying away with it and they had the fish in one talon and the fish was just on one drip of water, like drips of water coming down and uh, it had a lot of movement in it and it went, I always think well I could make another one that's better next time but you never get that opportunity but I think that was my best one. Forget all your troubles and just create create something is a good feeling.
I always considered myself a knothead most of the time, <laughs> but I always thought uh, I never was good enough to be an artist. But after a while, people said, man, you're a good artist. And after a while, you start thinking, well, maybe I am one. You're never as good as you think you ought to be. And I'll, you always try to do better. I always heard if you ever thought you, that was the best you could do, you might as well quit. Being chosen to be in the Kentucky Crafted book by Phyllis George and uh, be able to be in with uh, artists uh, throughout Kentucky that I look up to and just to be put in the same book, I think uh, that was an honor.